Good morning, friends. Today's June 14th. It is our um, checkup at our high risk doctor. So, our MFM, our maternal fetal medicine doctor. Had no idea what that was until I needed one. Uh, I am alone. No Brian, but he just texted me. Okay, so huh, I said, Are you going to be able to FaceTime me? And he says, Yes, I might be driving. Well, that's not safe, so might not be able to be here. So we're going to Oklahoma on Wednesday for a wedding for our niece. So he can't come with me today. So it's just me. First time at our high-risk doctor and I'm nervous. I, I think I'm just, I can feel baby. I feel like everything's gonna be fine. Everything's been fine up until this point. It's just my, you know, a little bit of my anxiety. Um, I just, you know, wish my husband were here. Um, but look at this. <laughs> this is a good sign. My first ever reserved expectant mother parking. First time ever. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, I got another text. Oh, it's my friend Taylor. If you haven't been following on Instagram, then you might not know what happened with her. She's one of my dear friends from Kansas City. One of my closest friends. We were both pregnant with our IVF babies. She's been going through infertility for 13 years. I've been going through it for six and a half years. And she was pregnant with some uh, girl and boy, girl and boy twins and she went into labor at 20 weeks and four days and lost the babies. So anyway, she's just like the best. She's, she even offered to come with me today. Just hurt for my friend, you know? Anyway, hmm. I need to be more like her. Um. Anyway, so things are gonna go well today, I think. I'm feeling really well, feel good. Uh, baby's moving a lot um, we've had we've been very lucky we've had no issues um, I'm just very grateful that we've been able to have good news at each appointment um, yeah we're 29 weeks and let me look at my app okay I'm gonna be crying here 29 weeks and four days pregnant this is the what to expect app I also use the bump app as well um, so anyway, gotta go in there. It's gonna be a 30 minute appointment this time instead of the hour appointments that we've had before. So I better get in there because they do not want you to be late. <laughs> They didn't allow me to FaceTime him, but I could have if I had to meet with Dr. Lou, but I didn't need to. Um, let me find, he's back at his office. Okay, let's call him at work. It's gonna get hot. We wanna keep this, this short. Let's put on speaker. Hey babe, I have you on speakerphone because I have the camera going. You're gonna have to talk louder. Hello, speakerphone. <laughs> okay. Um, everything went great, babe. Yeah, who is this person you're sending me pictures of? Our little boy, isn't he cute? Look at his little look at his little nose and his little mouth. Yeah, maybe he has your nose after all. <laughs> yeah. It's a little whiter, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, 
and then he has like the indent the like the the cute little lip shape um his feet were crossed above his head the whole time good modest fellow that is why yeah that's why my ribs always hurt he was and he was like uh, kicking my ribs the whole time um what else did she say his heart 145 his heart was great he's measuring three pounds three ounces i know he's a tank yeah he has some chubby cheeks um, after his mom. <laughs> yeah. um what else did oh, are we talking about face or other cheeks yeah the face cheeks oh, okay <laughs> um what else did she say um yeah everything looks good there she you know she's just looking at everything looking at the i gotta roll down the window it's getting a little hot because i can't have the ac on while i do this um but yeah everything went great and so I didn't have to even talk to Dr. Lou. Oh, okay. So, because we're going to be seeing him so often. And she's yeah, like, she's like, did you know that it was a boy? And I was like, oh yeah, let me tell you. So I just told her a little bit, but she's like, oh, so this baby's been, you've been waiting for this baby for a long time. Bring it on. You're ready. Little butt. Little butt. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, and she looked and she's like, definitely a boy. There's the scrotum. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, what else? Yeah, it was really good. I'm glad. So. Good, good. Yeah. Now breathe. I'm breathing. Okay, don't forget to do that. Yeah. Oh, plus he was also practicing breathing, too. She says he's doing everything he needs to be doing. He's doing it really well. Like what she what can see. That? Yeah. That's my boy. Yeah, so I'm like, just stay in there. Just stay in there. Don't come out. Is he catching any balls yet or anything? Not yet. He's going to have to do that with you. Okay. So, anyway, <clears throat> everything went great, babe. That was pretty cool, but I did ask her about the 3D ultrasound. And so she hurried and switched hers over to 3D. She's like, we're not going to be able to do it as good as a 3d clinic like a clinic that does that she's like they're really good she's like there's some really good places in the northland and i'm like well perfect that's where we live so okay yeah okay we'll have to look into that huh? yeah i'll do that yeah okay drive safe okay well love you bye love you bye yay everything went well so grateful wish we could take you guys in there with us but you know gotta listen to dr lou he doesn't want us to record in there, and you know what? We listen. So, anyway, baby boy's doing well. Mom's doing well. And um, now it's time to go take the car to get worked on. <laughs> and Brian's going to help me dye my hair so we can get ready for this wedding. We're leaving for this wedding on Wednesday night for Oklahoma. And anyway, yeah, going to let good stuff come, you know? Finally. We were talking about this yesterday. Anyway, it's getting hot. No AC right now. So uh, <laughs> we're going to have to talk later. Okay, guys. Hey, Rory, guess what? <laughs> You're so cute. Guess what? I saw your little brother today. <gasps> your little brother. Are you going to be a good brother? Do you love him? <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Can I see the ball? Bring it to mom. Well, bring it to me. I can't bend over super well. Come on, bring it to me. Come on. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. Okay, what about this one? What about this one? <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, what about this one? What about this one? <laughs> that was so cute. You are so funny. Here. Hey, can I ask you a question? Are you excited for your brother? Are you excited to be a brother? Hey, oh, oh, oh. Come here. Hey, Robbie, come here. Go see dad. Come here. Come here. No, come here. No, come here. Come here. No, come here. No, come right here. There you go. Do you need one little tiny piece of chicken treat? You want a little tiny piece of chicken treat? Ah, 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 come here. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. No, come here. Come here. Come, Rory, come here. No. Rory, go see dad. Come go here. see dad. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, come right here. No, come here. No, come here. 
Come here, if you come here, come here. No, come here, come here, come here, come here, come closer. There you go. Okay. Hey, come here. Okay. Hey. Do you want? Hey. Do you want your tiny little piece of chicken treat? You do. No. I, 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 I. Come here. Oh, okay. Come here. Okay. Rory, stop jumping off the bed. Go see dad. Rory, go see dad. Sit down. Uh, 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 sit down. Ooh, sit down. Let me get the poop off of here. Do you see this beast? This beast used to have wings. And a beak. Look at his little head. He's so cute. Do you see this piece of treat right here? This little piece of treat is for being a good boy. Have you been a good boy? I Be careful, down, Rory. Be down. careful. Have you been a good boy? Do you think you... I sit down. Okay. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your hands? You did? No, you didn't. You lied. Come here. No more. Okay. 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 No, that's it. Okay. 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 One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> no, don't jump off the bed Come again. Okay. Okay. Good boy, Rory. That's cute. That's a good, good boy. Okay, we made it to Oklahoma. What you, what's, wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with that? <laughs> this is Brian will not get a new suitcase. He says well, it works. <laughs> he says it works just fine. Brian has his cute tie on. So cute. That was actually supposed to match a different dress, but hey, it works. Oh, this was? Yeah, oh. that's okay. I brought these shoes to wear, but I don't fit into them anymore. So it's gonna have to be the sliders. Oh, I only cried a little bit in the wedding. Can you tell? Um, yes. <laughs> but my feet are swollen. My ankles mm -hmm. are now cankles. Oh boy. Officially 30 weeks. I am now swelling. I can feel my hands swelling. You can see my feet turning into sausages. Okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you don't like sausage. I don't like sausage, but I, I like seeing the transformation because it's just you know it means I'm pregnant and I'm. And you still got two months to go. And I'm still and I, I'm getting this far along to get there. I mean it's feels weird and I don't I can't wear my cute shoes, but you know what? I'll just go buy some white shoes. It's okay. Phil is weird. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Say it louder. Oh. <laughs> One minute. They have spicy McChickens. Instead of just the plain McChickens. Because that's what we have in Kansas City. It's the plain, not the spicy. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you want? It's a McChicken. Can I'm do, a spicy can one. Can we do two hot and spicy McChickens? I'm a human sausage. <laughs> Can you tell? Can you see it? I can feel the swelling. <laughs> I love it. To my OB's nurse, and they want me to go to labor and delivery. So I just pulled up. Um, they just want to do some testing, make sure everything's okay. I have some preeclampsia symptoms going on, and so um, they just want to check, do testing, make sure, you know. I'm good, baby's good. Um, Brian's not with me, but I will call him when I get up there. We think everything's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, we think it'll be okay. So Brian and I went to Oklahoma this weekend and um, I started having a lot of swelling and uh, some other preeclampsia type symptoms. Um, the swelling has gone down a little bit, but it's still there. Um, but the other symptoms are still there. And so, do you hear the baby? Just in case, to play it safe, our doctor's nurse uh, wanted me to go to labor and delivery. So we're in labor and delivery making sure I'm okay, making sure our little boy is okay. We think everything's gonna be fine. 
Brian's at work, so I'm texting him, letting him know how everything's going. I called him when I first got here. Um, so yeah, monitoring our little boy. Um, yeah, checking my blood pressure every 15 minutes. You hear him moving? Everything's gonna be okay. Just a little update. I'm still here. I've been here for about an hour and a half. I've had um, an ultrasound done on both legs to make sure that I don't have any blood clots. Um, they've also just taken my blood. Uh, we're still monitoring baby. You can hear him in the background. Um, yeah, my doctor should be coming to say hello and uh, checking my blood pressure every 15 minutes. And that's been good. I do feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm not leaving Kansas City at all until after we have the baby. I'm waiting for Brian to give me a call. He's at work. He uh, keeps texting me <laughs> like every 10 minutes. Any update? Any update? <laughs> What's the update? How's he doing? Is he good? And uh, yeah, we think we're gonna be okay. Just better to be safe than sorry. And it's crazy to think that we'll be here hopefully in two months. If it's sooner than that, well, Hopefully everything goes okay, and I'm grateful for a level three NICU here. Um, I just, it's crazy to think that we'll be here in two months, having a baby. Hmm, it's been a long time coming. I get to go home, um, baby's doing well, I'm doing well, um, everything checked out. Uh, they do say because I am obviously an IVF pregnancy that I do have a high risk of preeclampsia. So, but I'm doing everything that I need to with my baby aspirin, Lovenox. Well, Lovenox isn't necessarily for that, but anyway, doing everything that I need to. Um, obviously the traveling didn't help. I think that they were concerned by some of the rapid swelling or my OB's nurse was my, the rapid swelling, the pain right under here which when I called the nurse this morning, I was like, I'm not sure if, if it's something to be concerned about because normally it's always over here, which is where baby's kicking. But now it's on the right side and it's been happening since, since the swelling started. The swelling got so bad that I couldn't put my shoes on and had Brian and I come back or at least come here on Saturday or Sunday when we got here, my legs would have been a lot bigger than they were today. Thankfully, my legs and my hands have gotten a little bit smaller today but I couldn't even put on my, my slide on shoes because they had got so big from the swelling from traveling, I guess. Um, and then the headache, let's see what else. Why did they bring me in? The headache, the fatigue, the swelling, the, um, the pain right up here. Uh, and then also while I was in there, I felt like I was gonna throw up. I was like, oh. Like I'm gonna throw up and so Brian's like, are you nervous? <sighs> Probably. Oh yeah, my blood pressure is great. So when I was talking to uh, my OB's nurse, letting her know, hey, I just want Dr. Heisman to know that, that I'm having these symptoms, but I don't know if it's something to be concerned about. It wasn't that I was super worried. I was just like, okay. Let's just, let's just let my doctor know. I want to make sure that they are in the, in the know of what's going on because the swelling did come on so rapidly and the other symptoms as well. So I'm glad that we at least got checked out. Give everybody a little peace of mind. I'm grateful that we're okay. My dad called me earlier today to let me know that my grandma was gonna have surgery today and i'm like okay thanks you know thanks for letting me know 
um, I don't exactly know what's going on. But anyway, but he just texted me and, um, let me read the text. Hold on. He just said, he said, grandma's in surgery and the outcome don't look good. And I said, what do you mean? Why not? And he said, the doctor said, sorry, she has great odds of not making it. And I said, of not making it through the surgery? I'm confused. He says, the doctor said, good chances she could pass away today. And... I don't... I don't know. Let me text him real quick. I just... I just got home. Because I didn't want to... I saw his text come through. And I didn't want to text him back when I was driving. So... Um... Anyway, today's my grandpa's... Um anniversary of him passing away oh, wow. yeah wouldn't that be weird that would be weird wow yeah can you call? is she in surgery can you I, I I said can I talk to her um but I haven't heard back so I don't know Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to be able to talk to her before. But might not be able to. Yeah. She's in surgery, intestines ruptured. Yeah. I don't know what that means exactly. Like, I obviously, the, intest the intestines ruptured. But I don't understand why that would be... Give her a great chance of not making it. There he is, the man of the hour. There's oh, no, wait, that's you. That's the woman of the hour. There's your dad. There's your dad. You've had a busy day today. Yes. So... Yeah. How are you doing now? I don't have a bra. I don't have a bra. <laughs> well, you have a black shirt on. No one can see your pokies. <laughs> the pepperonis. So, we're home from the hospital. Everything checks out okay. Yeah. Uh, precautionary. Yeah, precautionary. Um, they sent me to go to labor and delivery because of some of the symptoms. I think I reported earlier what the symptoms were. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I checked everything. They released me. Everything seems fine. We'll have a, an appointment with our OB tomorrow. So yeah, we're good. Yeah. Everything's good. And then when I got home, we found out about my grandma. Oh, geez. Yeah. But she seems to be doing okay from her surgery. She's in recovery. She's in recovery, which my dad was texting me that she may not make it. Yeah, not great timing, so huh? It's been an emotional day. Yeah. Look, you've cried. So you're going to bed when it's still light outside. <laughs> See the light? It is outside. <laughs> but been, you, you need your sleep. It's so. been a long day. Yeah, I'm you exhausted. Need, you need to kick your feet up and yeah, and rest. Yes. So. Record yourself, honey. Hello. Well, oh, I can't oh. do that. Does it hurt your well, hand? You have questions for me. What questions do you have for me? What questions do we have? Okay, Brian Barzi. Where How? do you get off? <laughs> Why do you say what, what way? Is that the same thing? Yeah. What, how are you feeling today? You weren't worried, were you? I wasn't worried. Um, I was ready to just book it there. Right. If I needed to. I'm sure it would have been a long process. I don't think I would have missed anything, but... Um, I wasn't worried. It was just, I knew it was precautionary. Yeah. That, you know, with 
travel and, and the poor diet and the sodium intake and all that, that probably, none of that helps. None of that helps. Week. So now that we're back, we'll get in a better groove. You're not going anywhere anymore. So. Nope. Um, yeah. We, uh, we're staying put. I'm okay. staying put at least. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. No. And I can because then I can't miss anything in case <laughs> something does happen. As we just discussed a little bit before turning this on. It will be nice to get to July because in July you will be meeting with your doctor once a week. Your high FM, risk. Your high risk doctor once a week. So that'll be good. Right now it was a little bit, I don't know, um, preliminary to get in. Safe than sorry. Today. Because yes. Because tomorrow you do have an appointment. But again, we yes. came off a long trip, a long weekend. I think a lot of people are glad that you went in. I'm fine. That's that was probably good. Yeah, and I and I kind of tried to talk our doctor's nurse not out of like sending me there. I mean, I could have said, but I was like, we went on a trip. This yeah. is what we did. This is what I was doing. Right. This is, and she's just like, we want to be safe because of yeah. the IVF pregnancy. Well, I mean, all that stuff can 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 induce that preeclampsia. I think, right? You know, I'd, I don't know. know enough about it. Who knows, yeah, other than them. Yeah, uh, but we did get to see, hold on, let me turn it. He's on, he's he's moving like crazy. Oh, I have my flocks out. <laughs> um, we now know where labor and delivery is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and the rooms are nice. Are they? Yeah. I'm gonna and have the, to spend the night. And the view, well, I don't think you're gonna be very comfortable. That's so, true, but neither will you, so that's okay. No, the bed's not even that comfortable. Well, I mean other ways, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so we know where the labor and delivery is. We found out today we'll deliver there, and then, I guess as long as it's not a C-section, I don't think they do C-sections in there, and then after you have the baby, they keep you there for three hours, and then they send you upstairs to mom and baby, wherever that is, whatever stairs that is, upstairs. Hmm. So it looks really nice. The bathroom was so nice. Oh, like a truck stop bathroom? Nicer. Oh, even nicer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and the view was so pretty. It was a single room, and the view was so pretty of uh, Kansas City. But oh, it was it, over there? It, it was prettier than that view. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, we're glad we got checked out. Have a peace of mind. Glad Grandma's okay. Yep. Anyway. We're good. Yeah. You're we're good. good. We're doing good. good. We're good. All right. Thank y'all. Toodles.